this study is probably the first of many studies that will take a look at the relationship between sleep uh, and, and dementia. And I think we're, we're really on the cusp of understanding uh, you know, how, how sleep, uh, which is something that you know, we're, we're supposed to spend a third of our lives doing, uh, impacts you know, a whole host of, of important medical conditions, uh, including dementia, which is you know, a huge problem uh, in modern society as our society ages. So the main question that we were looking to answer uh, was a question as to whether having poor sleep and restless sleep would make it more likely that one would develop Alzheimer's disease. So when you take a look at uh, folks who had very high levels of uh, restlessness, very high levels of sleep fragmentation, uh, they developed Alzheimer's disease at a rate uh, one and a half times higher than those who had the, the lowest levels of restlessness or sleep fragmentation. This could be interpreted in one of two ways. Uh, on, on the one hand, it may be uh, that uh, having a poor sleep is a marker of, of, of some other risk factor for Alzheimer's disease, disease that we don't know about. Um, uh, the other more exciting possibility, though, uh, is that poor sleep might actually contribute to the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Uh, and, and you know, many causes of having poor sleep uh, can are in fact treatable, right? Uh, so you might have poor sleep because of a bad sleep environment, or because of social pressures, or, or stress, or, or things like that. Uh, and it may be that by treating these causes of poor sleep or dealing with them, uh, one might be able to decrease one's risk of Alzheimer's disease. Now, this study uh, itself isn't able to distinguish between those two possibilities, uh, but it certainly raises the uh, the, the the door uh, to perhaps future studies that might take a look at whether uh, improving sleep actually leads to a decreased risk of Alzheimer's disease. For some people, uh, it might be as simple as, as, as improving the sleep environment, dealing with noise and light uh, and, and, and that sort of thing, you know, dealing with a crying baby uh, and, and, and that sort of thing. Uh, for, uh, for, uh, for other people, uh, poor sleep is due to sleep disorders, things like sleep apnea or restless leg syndrome, each of which has its own uh, forms of, of, of treatment. A part of what made uh, this study possible uh, is advances in technologies uh, that now allow us to measure uh, sleep in patients' own homes rather than in the sleep lab. Uh, for instance, we use a, a wristwatch-like device called an actigraph uh, that measures movement, and then we applied fancy uh, mathematics to infer based on that uh, when people were sleeping and when they were awake uh, and to what extent their sleep was fragmented.